guys welcome back to the fourth lecture of the course introduction to programming using c language in this lecture we will learn about scanf scanf function variable declaration variable definition format specifiers assignment operator and we will deep dive into the printf function so without wasting further time let's jump on our code editor here we are on the code editor and i will create a new file here so c tutorial underscore four dot c and here I'm writing all the necessary code first machine clear studio dot h and then main function void main this time I'm just ignoring these brackets I'm just not writing void here because uh, in C we we don't need to specify every time uh, that we don't want any parameters here. If you just don't want, you can uh, left them empty. As I told you in the previous lecture, sometimes we need to store some data, and for those data, we have some data types in C. And uh, in C language, these data types are like containers for storing data, and we use variables of for storing these data of that particular data type. And uh, in C language, we have to declare a variable before using it. And uh, we can write it. Uh, this is some uh, uh, when we declare a variable, it, it will look like something this data type. And then here we will give we will give a name to the variable and then a semicolon. And what if we want multiple variables of same data type? We can do the same thing, data type here, and give another variable a different name to one, whatever you want, and then again semicolon. You can do the you can do this thing in a single line also. You can just separate the variable with comma variable one and then again variable two for example you can do uh, int and then uh, what I want to give a name to a vari variable like uh, uh, a or abc uh, we can give any name what we want except the special keywords like this void and this int these are some special keywords in c which we can't use as variable naming and uh, we should remove this and what if i just want more variables than uh, abc i will give abc1 or abc2 something and then uh, B A B or B C whatever we have uh, many options we can give any name to the variable and here's uh, what it look like after declaration now we know that every statement of programming languages means some instruction to the computer so it's time to look what do you mean by a declaration of a variable actually Again speaking, C is a statically typed language, so we need to specify some memory uh, that we are going to use in our program. These data types does not mean too much for the computer because we already know uh, everything is stored as zeros and ones inside the memory of the computer. So what is the need of specifying these data types? The answer is quite simple. These data types are associated with some memory in the computer. So by giving the data types, Actually, we are providing the size of the memory uh, that we are going to use in our program. So how does the computer will interpret this line? Uh, this is like uh, telling the computer that uh, I'm going to use these four variables uh, having name ABC, ABC2, AB and BC of size integer. Uh, I'll be using about four boxes of integer size. This is all uh, computer will interpret in the backend. So now we can say that we have the containers for storing values. And this is the time to get value from the user. 
for this purpose, we use a standard function, standard input function, that is scanf function, which is used for taking input from the terminal or console. And after that, we can use that input in our program. First, delete some of the variables here because we don't need these much variables. So I have a PC, I have a a variable and a b variable. Let's suppose I want to take input from the user and uh, then want to store uh, the value uh, of the integer in these two variables. So for doing this, uh, first I will write the scanf function and uh, in the first argument, uh, we pass a double quoted text or I should say a string in which we specify data type of data we want to take in. Now this thing is done by some special set of characters known as format specifiers. When we write any format specifiers in, in a, inside a string, this means we want to specify, we, we want to replace that format specifier with some other data type, with, uh, with some other data uh, having a data type specified by the format specifier. And uh, after this, uh, uh, we just pass the argument uh, uh, which we which we have specified uh, in the strings and uh, we will pass the variables in which we want to store the value of the that input we have taken so i will write a format specifier for integer and for integer we have a percent i so uh, i will be taking the integer from the user so i, I have given it percent i here and uh, uh, I will separate the variable with uh, I will separate the arguments with a comma and uh, specify in which variable I want to store the integer that I have taken so I have given a but uh, there is a big thing uh, that we have to understand here if we specify a here the scanf will not be able to store the value uh, taken from the user to the a variable and for doing this we specify the address of that variable and uh, uh, for getting the address we have a operator that is m percent and uh, whenever we write m percent in front of the variable it will return uh, address or i i should say location of that variable in the memory so i need to write and m percent in front of the variable. So now uh, the scanf will take input from the user and will store it in a. Similar, similarly, we will do for b also scanf percent i, and then we separate it with comma and percent and m percent e. So now these two lines instruct the computer to take input from the user and store it to A and then B. So now let's try to run this code. Okay, uh, now I'm entering 12, then 34, and the program is over. So here we have taken the input from the user but we haven't defined any operation on it and what we want to do with these variables so the program ended now it's time to print the values that we have taken from the user and we know how to print a simple text using printf function but now we have to print something which we don't know at the time of writing our code because we don't know what the user will give us as a and what will be given what will be given to us as b so for this again we will take the help of format specifiers here so uh, in in the first argument again in the printf function in the first argument that uh, we always give a string uh, in the string we will specify that uh, we need to put insert a uh, integer here or some other data type but right now we are just uh, dealing with integer so here we will be uh, giving the format specifier percent i because we just want to insert 
A and B in it. So we will write the value of A is and here I will give percent I and uh, I'm creating a new line and the value of B is again percent I and a second and third argument I will pass the variable itself I will give one uh, sorry A and the third argument will be B and all this will be comma separated uh, when we pass any arguments to the function we have to separate them using commas so now what will happen the first percent i will get replaced by a and the second percent i will get replaced by b so let's try to run this code so now we will enter 12 and 34 again so now we are getting the value of a is 12 and the value of b is 34 as we have given to the console so uh, we can see that uh, we are printing both the values in a single printer function uh, like this we can take both both the values in single scanner function this we can spec specify it uh, by giving another percent i here and for m percent b here now the first percent i the first value taken by the scanner function will be uh, placed in the a container and the second will be placed in the b container or we can say a variable or b variable we can press, we can give some space here also uh, the compiler will simply ignore this space but uh, remember one thing never leave a space after the uh, format specifier because uh, this will give a give us a kind of bug uh, i will take care of that later but uh, always remember just don't give space we don't need to um, specify some space here because uh, we don't have anything to do with the uh, appearance of this function we just need to uh, take input using scanner function so now again try to run this code now i will put 10 and 20 so we are getting the value of a is 10 and the value of b is 20. so now we are on the point that we can take easily the input of uh, input inside a, a variable and we can easily print any kind of variable any kind of integer or i should say and uh, now it's time to print the sum of the variables that we are taking so for the for doing this uh, i will just do printf and we'll give some text the the sum of a and b is percent i because we know uh, the sum of two integers is always an integer so i will just say percent i here and in this now uh, the second argument of this this printer function will be a plus b now what does this represent i am just giving an expression as an argument uh, now uh, the compiler will go from right to left and uh, uh, will calculate the a plus b first and then it will get replaced with percent i so we can give a specific number here as well as the expression and in the later uh, I, I will be doing function calling here also so i will so let's try to run this code now uh, i'm giving a as 20 and b as 30 and we are getting the sum of a and b is 50 so as expected we are getting the same result one important thing that you should note is that we can take any as many as possible variables we want to take input using scanner's function we can just uh, write it here another percent i if i want another variable like foo 
So I can easily write it here and uh, give another argument m percent c. Now scanner function will take three uh, input from the user and will assign to three different variables. And for similarly, we can print any number of variables using print a function. So the thing uh, we just need to specify the format. And uh, again, I'm just doing the value of c is percent i backslash n and, and here I will pass another argument that is c and in this sum and this I I will say a b and c and in the expression I will just add another c here so let's try to run this code So in A I am giving 10, in B I am giving 20 and in C I am giving, I am giving 30. So we are getting C uh, as uh, what I, I, were, I was expecting. So the sum of A, B and C is 60 and the value of A is 10, B is 20, C is 30. So uh, as you can see, uh, you can specify as many variables as you want in the scanner function and similarly in the printer function also. Note every time we will be taking input from the user, sometimes we already know what value we want to store in a variable. Uh, it's very easy to give or assign a value to a variable. We can do this using an assignment operator that is equals to. and. Uh, uh, whatever we want to assign to a variable should come at the right side of the operator and the variable in which you want to store it, it should come in the left side. Okay, I will show you how. Uh, let's suppose I just don't want to take input of C and so I am just removing the next argument from the scanner and giving C equals to 30. So now the value of C will be 30. Uh, I just don't need to uh, take input from the user. And now I'll do, try to run this program. Now uh, I'll be just giving the value of A and B only, let's say 30 and 40. And now I'm getting A is equal to 30, B is equal to 40, and C is 30 as we have given in the code. And the sum of ABC is 30, uh, 100. Sorry. Uh, now, one more thing you should always remember that we can never write 30 equals to C because uh, we are specifying that 30 equals to C. No, 30 is just a literal, it's an integer and it's a constant. We can't say 30 is equal to C. No, it's not a mathematical expression. Whenever we assign a value to a variable, we have to specify uh, uh, the value on the right side of the operator. And so we should write in this way. So now the value 30 will be given, will be stored in the C. And uh, unlike the scanner function, which requires the address of that variable, uh, these assignments directly store this value in that container because we are just accessing it indirectly uh, but in scanner function we were doing it indirectly because a scanner function is stored somewhere else in the memory and then uh, the scanner function is trying to access that variable which is created in the main function so that's why we need to specify the address for changing that variable but here we are doing the directly uh, assignment in the main function so we don't need to specify that uh, 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 in that particular address, uh, I want to store 30 in that variable. So no, we can easily direct directly we can do this uh, assignment and uh, it will work. So it's working completely fine. Now you are capable of uh, taking the integer input from the user and uh, you can do mathematical stuff mathematical operation on these variables easily so but what if you, you want to take a decimal point number or a character 
and so for this we will be doing this uh, for character and float so first just comment this code now what do you mean by comment uh, let me tell you uh, when we want to write something uh, different uh, from the syntax but uh, the compiler will give us error uh, for ignoring that particular text we, we use comments and uh, the comments start with double slash and whatever I, I will write here this compiler will simply uh, ignore all these text so uh, now I will write code for the decimal point numbers and for this I will be using float data type because I know float stores all these decimal point numbers in that variable so for this I am using a variable and another variable p and now I will take I will first print a statement enter the value of a So now uh, I don't need to specify any variable here and uh, first I will take the input of A and here I need to specify that I want to take a floating point number as an input. So for this we will be using percent %f and uh, again we have to provide the address of that variable in which we I want to store uh, the value so for this I will be using m% percent a and now again I am printing a statement that is enter the value of b and after this I will take input again I want to take a uh, float so again i'm just specifying percent f and uh, uh, the variable in which i want to store the value is b so i will give percent b as the second ar argument and uh, now i just want to add these numbers so again i'm doing the sum of a and b is percent f because the sum of two decimal point number can be uh, a decimal point number as well so i'm just saying percent f here and in this uh, second argument i will just say a plus b so now uh, try to run this code now uh, we have printed uh, we, we can see that uh, uh, enter the value of a is printed here on the con here in the terminal so i will give a floating point number or i can give a simple integer also uh, it will simply store it in the float data type so uh, now i'm giving 50 point something and for b i'm giving 21 point something and the sum of a and b we are getting is 71.575998 uh, there is some error in the mathematical operation and why is this because in the uh, backend uh, where the uh, floats are stored uh, they use some different kind of notation for storing that value so uh, for floating uh, whenever we use float uh, uh, we can't store that number absolutely precise that uh, we do in the, our maths uh, it can never store the exact value so you may find some uh, some these type of errors but uh, uh, simply ignore this because we can't do anything better than this with flow data type uh, we can uh, change it uh, with uh, double data type and uh, uh, long double but with float we will get this precision we can't change the precision of this answer again what if just you just want to initialize a variable uh, at the time when you go writing the code 
for this we will be doing this c equals to whatever the value you want to give i'm just giving like this so it will store it in c variable and for printing this we can simply do the same thing and now i'm just writing i'm just adding it to the sum of a and b a plus b plus c so now i will run this code let's see uh, i'm giving a as 12.5 and b as 30.4 and the sum of a b c is 55.134 something so you can do this uh, you can do uh, you can directly assign some value using uh, assignment operator equal to and uh, uh, now you can easily take the value of a uh, decimal point number uh, in in our program so now it's time to take the uh, character as an input for this uh, i'm just uh, commenting this float code also and this time i will make a variable a of character data type and uh, i will scan so before scanning i will print a simple statement enter any character And after that, I will scan the uh, scan the input. And for this, uh, I will specify the, the format specifier for character data type. And uh, for character data type, we have percent %c. And similarly, in the previous cases also, uh, uh, we have to specify the address where I want to store the value. So here I am just storing. In the A, and now I will print the character. And for this, I will be using the same format specifier percent C. Um, you have entered what percent C, and then in the second argument i will give a now percent c will get replaced by a so now see uh, i'm giving a and we get you have entered a so simply we can take uh, the input of character also uh, in this manner and uh, similarly we have seen uh, how to take float and integer as input from the user. So in this lecture, we have covered three different format specifiers: percent i for integer, percent f for float, and percent c for character. But uh, we don't have only the three these format specifiers. We we have a whole lot of format specifiers for different different data types and different different variables that we will be discussing further in our course when there will be uh, any need of that uh, format specifier and uh, i will i will make a separate video on format specifiers uh, for all the format specifiers that we can uh, do and what are the different things we can do with format specifiers also so uh, till, uh, i will in the next like, next next video we will discuss about uh, variable naming rules because we have different rules for naming the variable. We can't just give a name uh, as character and void or main, some specific that already exists in a C. Uh, these are special keywords in C. So we can't give a special keyword name uh, to a variable. And uh, we will be discussing much more about uh, taking inputs and uh, some mathematical operations or some operators that we have in C. And till then, keep keep coding, keep learning. Thank you.